So yet another chapter in the history of India against Pakistan was about to unfurl at the Sharjah Cricket Stadium. The Indian lineup was formidable. Captain Mohammad Azraddin could look to the experience of players such as Kapil Dev, Ravi Shastri and the sublime talent of Sachin Tendulkar. Equally impressive was the Pakistani lineup. With a bowling attack of Imran Khan, Waka Yunis and Wazim Akram, Pakistan had every reason to be confident. And Shastri facing the first delivery from Imran, who's opening the Pakistan bowling. Played to mid-wicket. First run for India, down to long leg. I'll keep the fielder there. Ramiz Raja, a deep third man. Shot of impatience. Jaz making a wonderful stop at mid wicket, only a single. And it's Imran now. And well, that's a good shot. It's four runs, the first boundary of the day there. That was an excellent stroke. And uh, suddenly the run rate is beginning to uh, accelerate. Sidhu hit that one beautifully. Here's Akim. Oh, and that's a fine stroke. It's gone away, I think, for four. Yes, that's into the fence. That was a lovely shot by Ravi Shastri, uh, going away to the boundary. Oh, that's a handsome stroke. He hit through the line, um, Shastri. He's only going to get a couple of runs. He didn't really time it. Sajid Ali, the fielder. Handsome stroke by Sidhu. There's going to be two runs at least here. It's Salim Malik out there fielding. And a rather a slightly wild throw, but back up on the leg side. And two runs to Sidhu. There again, Shastri just dabbing that ball down in front of him for the easy single. So after 15 overs, India, who won the toss, are 42 for no wicket. Sidhu has 19, Shastri has 19. It was almost enough. Oh, there's a run out here. There's a run out here. Shastri is gone. Well, that is, uh, I suppose, all part of one-day cricket. I wonder how the conversation went. The crowd delighted. The Pakistanis and the crowd delighted. Uh, Shastri just played the ball into the covers and went. I don't know whether he said anything, I don't know whether Sidhu sent him back, but Shastri just went on and on, uh, like a, I was going to say, like a stray sheep looking for a pen at the other end, but when he got there he found the door was bolted. It's amazing, he could have, he could have stopped and come back, but he just didn't stop, as you say, uh, and he just went on and on. Oh, oh, Sidhu ran, yes, the Sidhu shouldn't have run and come back. And that's a good stroke there by Sidhu, but brilliantly fielded, he could be out. No, it's gone away for an overthrow. Well, that is the injustice of cricket, a marvellous piece of fielding there by uh, Raza, on the, Akram Raza on the offside. But the weak giver couldn't get up in time, couldn't take the throw. Uh, Sidhu was stranded halfway down the pitch. He thought that one was through. And then, of course, the ball went away for an overthrow. Oh, that's very well picked up for four by Mandrake. That was a fine stroke. On his legs, he didn't just glance that, he hit it. And he hit it into the gap. What a good stroke. Oh, that beautifully glanced for four runs. That was a lovely shot. Uh, he really did play that quite beautifully. He waited for it, hit it fine off the middle of the bat for four runs. That is the 50. 
India now 53 for one. The 50 coming in the 17th over. Andy. There he is. Oh, well, that's on, on the leg. Beautifully played by Mandraker. A chase for Imran. He'll stop it. But and they'll, they'll get just a couple of runs. It's a heavy outfield. It's thick grass, this. And as you could see then, the ball slowed up rapidly after passing Imran. Run. And Draco was well home, even if it was direct hit. It's another chase by the skipper. Javed. coming in from the deep single to Sidhu 78 for one that's four runs Sidhu playing at square of the wicket Sidhu is gone, late on the ball, and that was the quick one from Akram, who was bowling well within himself, and then suddenly whipped that one, and Sidhu bowled by him, and India have lost their second wicket at 93. Very well placed. Such a neat player is Mandraka, so compact. Fine square cut, but Mustaq will cut it off. Only two, but a superb shot by uh, Azhar. It's another nice placement to the right of uh, Imran, and that is 100 for India. India 100 for two in the 29th over, Masim Akram is off the field and Ghulam Ali has come on, but it's Akram Raza bowling to Azhar who takes a single, playing, it out, playing him out to long on. Well fielded by Mushtaq at square leg, two substitutes on the field. The Pakistani fielding has been excellent. Akib now to Mandraker. Steering that third man, one run in it. One feels we're now in the 31st over and 107 for two. Wasn't that a lovely looking stroke? It's Mushtaq Ahmed out there, the substitute, it's slight misfield, and he just shows you how a fielder only has to spill the ball onto the ground, and that extra split second gives them, much to the delight of the spectators, as you can see, the chance to come back for the second run. Well, there we see the powerhouse of the commentary team, Javid Berkey, chairman of the Pakistan selectors, in the hat. Oh, that was nicely tucked away, the paddle sweep. A couple of runs to Javed Meandad. A couple of runs, in fact, to Mandraker, but it was Javed Meandad who picked it up. 116 now for two. Oh, and that is the edge again. That's gone away for four. 
I would think it's being pursued by Akiva. I doubt he'll stop that. Oh, yes, he has. He just flicked it back. Well done, him. What a good effort. And he saved one run. They run through for three. Akiv Javed to Mandrega. Oh, come on, Azrudi. That hits your out. Oh, my goodness me. Ejaz threw that like a guided missile. If that had hit anyone on the shins, it would have broken them. A brilliant piece of backing up by Imran. Well, I can only say I bow to superior knowledge. Oh, my goodness me. It's gone away for four overthrows. Imran Khan is furious. That really was a bad mistake by Akib Javid, who I really think had only to lunge himself at the stumps. Instead of which, he threw from two yards, missed, gave away four overthrows, and has incurred his captain's wrath and that lady's great delight. Here's Waka, now to Azruddin. Oh, lovely, brilliantly, that was a marvellous piece of feeling by Ramiz. He's, he, we, and there was a man behind him, so I dare say it didn't make a great deal of difference to the score. Oh, it's a very good shot, placed well, but it's a heavy outfield. It's very, this Kikuyu grass, which I think it is, is coarse grass, and it pulls the ball up rather sharply. Javid out there. He doesn't, he may be upwards of 30, but he's very maneuverable still. Gets the ball in very fast. 135 for two. We're in over number 35. 15 overs to come. Here is Wakar again. Oh, well, that was the most handsome stroke. And it's no brilliant pullback, just the two. And that again, I think, shows you. It was a beautifully hit stroke. Not only is the ball not coming onto the bat, but it's a very slow outfield. Another single. That's his 50. That is Mandrika's 50. It's taken him a fair while, but he's got the runs. And who is to say that when we do the final accounting at the end of the day, that this will not be the decisive innings. Well, that is, I think, going to be a four. Yes, it gets, it's the sixth boundary of the day. It was a rank long hop, and it got the treatment. Waka to Azaruddin. They bowl him, they bowl him, and Azaruddin trying to run that to third man. It came back a fraction, took the off stump, and so Azaruddin has gone. Bowled by Waka, splendid ball. And India now 149 for three. We're in the 38th over and uh, tremendous jubilation. Oh, I say, he hit that one well. There's, that's four runs. That, he really hit that like a kicking horse. Marvellous shot. Uh, turning into the right-hander, Mandrake went down and swept it. It's the first sweep in the two days cricket that's really been hit like that. Tandulkar facing Imran. Single to him. India 164 for three. Uh, it was one of our rare performances in Sharjah because by that time, by the 90s, Pakistan were beating India consistently in Sharjah. And uh, I remember that particular game. I think uh, that inning just started off on a great note. Wasim Akram, I think, tried to yoke me on my first two deliveries and I flicked them for four. And it just started beautifully for me. The rhythm was there. Sachin Tendulkar joined me at the right time. We kept the momentum going. Manjureka facing. Two runs. That will be Salim Malik at deep square. Tandulkar thinking of a second. 
would have been trouble for him. Akram will cut it off, but they'll get two. Tendulkar facing Akram. Imran at mid-off, the ball traveling far too quickly for them to take a single and far too straight. This is uh, Javed Miyadad. Hit to deep extra cover. They go through for two. And India move on to 182. Fine shot by Tandulkar. Two more. That's up in the air, and they go through for one. Matreka on 66 facing Imran. That's a lovely shot, but the fielders on the boundary line will cut off a four, they only get two. One eighty eight for three. It's Chishti, Munir, and Bakaldin, the press liaison officer. One nine one for three. Mandrekar to face Bakar Yunus. Oh, wonderful return, but it causes an overthrow. Top delivery, but he's played a very fine knock for India. 193 for four, and Javed, will it be Kapil or the, che the man making his first appearance for India? Kambil. Kapil, I think. Uh, if the Kapil is coming out, he's far more experienced. And he's a damn good stroke player. I started off well and I think Sachin Tendulkar came in at the right time and joined me because we needed to get a move on. And it's always a help when Sachin Tendulkar is there when you're looking for quick runs. Fine applause for Mandreka. Covers. Kapil on two. It's up in the air. Two runs. Good bit of work by Akram. Running all the way from uh, long on to cover that shot. Fine shot by Tandulkar. Beautiful shot. Ball swinging into him. And this youngster shows his genius and class. Kapil facing Imran. Single to mid wicket. Fast the bowler, hit so firmly with such perfect timing, 
that Imran didn't even have the time to bend down. It flashed past him like a rocket. Slower ball, a full toss, and Tandulkar coming back for the second. Past the outstretched hand of Imran. It's a full toss. The jaws at deep cover. Imran at mid-off. Full toss and magnificently hit. It's going to be four runs to the mid-wicket fence. Akram tried to bowl a slow one. Should be two there as they jazz fields. Single. That brings Thunderkar. He's on forty one. Improvisation at its best. That was a no ball. But when you see such improvisation at such a tender age, it's breathtaking. Still three more deliveries to go because that was a no ball. 231 for four. Imran is there at. Uh, Deep cover, they go through for two. 233 for four. Chandulkar on 47. And if anyone deserves this 50, it's him. And after 50, it's going to be four runs to the cover boundary. Absolutely magnificent improvisation. He moved away from his stumps as Akram bowled the ball into him and played it over cover for 450 to him. A magnificent 50. 2 3 7 for 4. Straight to Imran. There comes the return. Final score of 237 for four. In 50 overs, India averaged 4.57. Bakar gave away 14 runs in his final over. And let's listen and look at the hero of the morning's play, Chandulkar. So a patient innings of 72 by Sanjay Mandraker helped India reach a total of 238 for four. The highlight of the day, the sparkling innings of 52 runs off just 40 balls by Sachin Tendulkar. A difficult day for the Pakistani bowlers who failed to make any impact on this slow charger wicket. Join us after the break for Pakistan's reply. The things that Pakistan wasn't doing at that time well was chasing at that time and um, Javed Miadad wasn't in great form so we knew that you know if we had enough runs on the board they would be un under some pressure. Ramiz facing Parbaka. No ball, that's the first run for Pakistan. It's running down to third man, it's going to be four runs. There's no slip.
five for no wicket. Sajid off the mark with that four. Sidhu at deep cover. A single to Sajid. And it's six for no wicket Pakistan. by LBW that ball came back um, quite sharply Ramiz was moving forward <laughs> for Barker running around from long leg but there's two there for Ramiz eight for no wicket and Ramiz on two by Morey and Prabhaka is among the wickets and India have made a very, very important breakthrough and a very good one. Shastri Khan cut that one off. Four to Ramiz. Quite an effort by uh, Azhar there to dive and try to get a hand to it. That ball was traveling very, very quickly and it went for four. 22 for one, Kapil coming on to bowl. It's a lovely shot through mid wicket. Sidhu after it. That's Sidhu. Two to Ramiz. 24 for one. That's the offside field. That's beautifully played, and it's going to be four, possibly. Sirinath can't cut it off. And here is Kapildev. And indeed, the um, Ramis plays very well off his legs. They're going to get two there. It's Sidhu throwing, what a lovely throw it was too. But um, Ramis had the second run under control, taking the score to 30 for one. Oh, well, that was a fine stroke there by, by Ramis. It was short, it was a little bit wide, a bad ball by Kapildev, and it got the treatment. Well, the Pakistanis will want a few more like that, but that certainly will leave everyone in very good heart. Oh, well, that was a nice bit of improvisation by Ramiz. It's going to be, oh no, a bit of misfielding by Kamble. That's what happens. Running the first one fast puts the fielder under pressure. Kamble made the great mistake of taking his eye off the ball, looking at the stud, what the batsmen were about, and fluffed it. And so they got a second run. Shastri now. Now to Ramiz. I always think. And they have to hurry here. A good throw, and I think from Mandraker. And that could have so easily. Well, that was a little bit edgy, but it's runs. I think two of them. Yes, indeed. That one avoided Prabhaka, who was guilty of the misfielding the ball before. And that is Javed Miandad's thousandth and first run here at Sharjah. What a record. A great performance. One of the greatest players Pakistan has ever produced. Swept and swept fine. It's going to be four runs. That's vintage Miadat. He saw Shastri straying a little down the leg side and swept it, keeping the ball low 
And what is important, keeping it fine so that Raju couldn't cut it off from going to the boundary. 76 for one. Miyadad facing Shastri. Miyadad on 32 now. Sweeps again, but this time it's not as fine. for one. And that's going to be a possible four. I don't think Tandulkar would cut it off. He gives up the chase. He cut it fine because Tandulkar was a little square at third man. Good placement. And Pakistan now go on to 83 for one. A very expensive over from Shastri. Kapil at mid-off and Ramiz Raja is run out. Brilliant pick up and throw in. And Pakistan have lost their second wicket at 84 just when it looked as if this partnership was going to dominate the proceedings. Ramiz Raja run out. A brilliant throw in by Kapil. In one action, he picked up the ball and threw the wickets down. Superb fielding by Kapil and Pakistan have lost their second wicket. Malik facing Raju. Superbly fielded by Azhar. Going across from short extra cover. 91 for two. to Salim Malik. hundred and two now for the loss of two wickets. Long chase for Prabhakar. He can't get to it. And this time Salim Malik laid back and cut it a little finer. The previous shot he played was squarer and Parabhaka running around from deep cover could cut it off. So 106 for two. And that's his 50. Very popular at Charger. His 10th 50 at Charger. His highest year, 116 against India in the Australasia Cup. And they go through for a quick single. Miyadad is home. Glanced fine and uh, Sirinath returns, but the batsmen are home for two. Malik coming back for the second and taken comfortably to and the possibility of an overthrow. The pressure telling on the Indian side. A big appeal, he's out, he's gone, Sally Malik is out. He was trying to work that across the line and he didn't move forward, he really played it from the crease and I should have thought that that was a valid plum LBW decision. That is a blow for Pakistan. Salim Malik was beginning to play well, but he's now LBW to Shastri for 19. Yes, this is certainly a blow for Pakistan. He just played right across that delivery, a straight ball. Bowled at the middle stump, he just played right across, looking for the single. Prabhaka to Miandad. No ball called, and there's gonna be a couple of runs here. 
Let's see, do the fielder. The fielder. He's very athletic. He's very quick. Not by quite as quick with his left hand as Pakistan's Ijaz, but not far behind. As Prabhaka is in again to Imran. We bowl him. It's bowled him. That's a very important wicket for India. Now Pakistan are really in the toils. They are 129 for four. Imran made the mistake of not coming quite forward, not coming far enough forward, and it, it beat him, beat the outside edge. He played essentially down the wrong line. Had he come right forward and committed himself, I think he might have been, been better off. He's going to bowl to Javid. He's out, LBW, playing it away to leg. And that is the wicket that Pakistan wanted. Javed is unhappy. Uh, I suppose it might have pitched outside leg stump. I don't think it did, though, from what I saw. Javed has gone. LBW to Raju for 60. Pakistan are now 129 for five. And India have taken charge. That's a good firm drive by Wazim Akram, just a single though. Kumble there down on the boundary, fielding. Um, Ijaz getting a single down there, the third man. Kumble the fielder. Oh, he's, uh, he's gone, he's caught, he's caught and bowled, he does, he played a little bit too soon, he was beaten in the air, and a fine diving catch by Raju, and Pakistan are now really in the toils at 139 for six. One thirty-nine for six. A hundred still needed for victory. Just about fourteen overs left. Fourteen overs and the odd ball. The hundred and fortieth run. Moen's off the mark. We bowl him. We bowl him. And that surely has, is the death knell for Pakistan. Wazim Raja trying to play it away off his legs. Uh, bowled. Leg stump by Srinath, who's got a crucial wicket. And now, if Pakistan is to win, it will need a fairly sizable miracle. With Wazim Akram's departure, they are 155 for seven. Down to third man. Moin gets a single. Up in the air, he's going to be out caught and he's gone. The eighth wicket down. And India on a roll. And they clearly deserve it. They have outplayed Pakistan in every department of the game. Single down to third man. Bowled him. That swung into Rakhar Yunus. Pakistan have lost their ninth wicket, and the writing 
more than on the wall. 166 for the loss of eight wickets. Kumble fielding a deep third man returns. Bowled in and it's all over. The ball swinging into him through the gap between bat and pad and India have won convincingly and comprehensively by 60 runs. Winning, I'll never forget that day I made. If you win, Sharjah is a great place. So you're not left alone. People are there showering praises and gifts, whatever you want. So that day was very special. Me doing well, getting man of the match, and to the top it all, India beating Pakistan in one of those rare results in the 90s. Well, after the early loss of Sajid Ali for only five runs, Ramiz Raja and Javed Miandad studied the innings, and Pakistan began to look the favourites to win the match. Once these two departed, though, the Pakistani innings collapsed, Prabhakar doing most of the damage with figures of four for 25, and India running out victors by 60 runs. A wonderful day for the Indian supporters who saw their side record its first victory over Pakistan in six years. Tendulkar provided the crowd with a magical half century, but it was Sanjay Mandraker who steered India to victory with his innings of 72 and with it the award for Man of the Match.